Alright, so first let's get a picture of our track. Step one, go to scratch.com. Step two, press create, and then it'll take you to the editor. Step three, close out of the tutorial and delete the cat and click on stage. Select backdrop, and this is where we will draw our track. If you want to, you can um, import a reference images by clicking that and then that. Now that we have a reference images, we will trace over this entire thing using the line tool. First, you must create your line, then you use this line editor to start moving around and making those lines nice and curvy. You can use the width editor at the top to make the line thicker or skinnier, but you can also do this at the end of the process. So just finish up your tracing and I'll see you back when I'm done. I have finished tracing the entire thing. Now what we can do is we can delete the background images and then take the, a screenshot of our new image by zooming in on it and then trying to get as many pixels in as possible. Now we will go to minecraftart.netfly.app and we will put our file picture right in there. Then you can resize the image to how many blocks in width and length you want it to be. Then you will select custom, unselect all the blocks, and then only select white concrete and black concrete. Also make sure to hit the check and ignore in-game height limit. Next you will be on this page, and if your image was as was as big as mine, then you will probably need to zoom in before the blocks load in. But here you can see the width of your track and how it will all look in Minecraft. Then you press save, and then you may rename your schematic, and then save as. This will give you the file that you need to put into your schematics folder in World Edit. Now you will you will load that schematic that you just put in. It should be the same name that, as you typed in. But before you paste it, you should do slash slash rotate zero zero two seventy, so that it won't put it vertical but horizontal. Then you just need to pray that your game does not crash while it loads in, and you should be good to go. And then to turn it all to ice and grass, all you have to do is select both sides, and then do these commands. Congratulations on your basic layout for an ice boat track. Now you're ready to drift on it, and then maybe decorate it as well. Uh, yeah, subscribe.